And the Dubrinic Channel is back, and tonight we're talking about Lake Oroville. As earlier I talked about Lake Mead, the Colorado system, tonight we're talking strictly California. And while things have dried up, December was wet, January was dry, and February doesn't look much better. As we are the second day of February, happy Groundhog's Day everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you like this content and you think it's worthy of a subscribe at the end of the video, please consider doing that. I always tend to forget to do that at the end of the video, so I'll do it at the front end. And if you don't, no worries. And I just want to uh, take a moment here and talk about, I have been really busy lately. I do have other jobs and other ventures. Sorry, I can't make videos all the time. I know some people were disappointed and have unsubscribed, and that's fine. I appreciate the people that have stuck with me, and if you feel it's necessary to unsubscribe, I'm not going to be upset about that, I understand. But here I am tonight, I have time, so let's do our tour. So we're at Lake Oroville and California, and you can see the dry pattern here, as I talked about earlier today. Is the jet stream has shifted way to the north, everything's going to Alaska and Canada, it's coming down in a fashion like this throughout the country, and it's happening over and over again. Luckily, some of the Colorado's getting some snow as I talked about earlier but California is relatively dry and there's nothing coming in the next 10 days which is sad we're gonna go to the snow depth and I'll show you how it is dwindling there's still quite a bit of snow here by Lake Oroville as you can see 29.6 inches and you got 37 out here so it's not melting super fast it has melted some though if you recall this thing was in the 50s and 60s even 80s if i recall and it has come down quite a bit we come down here to tahoe city and Truckee up here 32 inches and 34 so quite a bit you had a 40 right there quite a bit has melted luckily we still got some we'll be checking what the percentages are here in a minute 45 inches there and then we come down a little further to yosemite down here and you can see 29.7 inches and mammoth lakes over here 34.5 and we scoot down a little further and they have some down here at 54 inches there that's probably the highest in the whole state for snow depth we go up here by mount shasta up here and you got 14 inches and as i did earlier here's a view of mount shasta right there beautiful you can see the snowpack up on the volcano itself so that's fantastic news as we roll down to lake shasta you can see this was 32 minutes ago here lake shasta there we'll go down to lake oroville images courtesy of png electricity the lake has come up quite a bit we'll be looking at those numbers here in a minute and then I wanted to look at the snow depth and the drought depth, the drought too as well. See where those are currently at. And we'll roll over to the, the snow depth now and see what is going on over there. So here we are at the snow water equivalent in inches. And you can see this was taken the 2nd of February here, 2022. And if it was April 1st, it would be 58% on April 1st. So not even half the snow that you currently need. And then you have the Northern Sierra, Trinity, you have 89% of normal for this state so we are under 100 now and we were over 100 just a few weeks ago and then you got 57 percent and you got 89 percent there and the highest is the south as i just indicated off of windy.com you got 92 percent and 55 percent so 55 in the central 57 in the northern you have 58 percent so the watershed is not as high as it once was so had to take that to mind we are going to look at the drought conditions now and see what those currently are at so here we are at the drought intensity and you, the majority of the states at moderate drought to severe drought with up here in northern california is that extreme drought so even though you got all that precipitation you still have a big drought here and the intensity has increased quite a bit here in california and this is not good with no precipitation coming in the next 10 days you have very little coming and you can see that this goes all the way pretty close to the whole west here so even at colorado that's a normal year for precipitation it's still in a drought from the severe drought from this past summer so we have big time droughts here even in oregon and even west of the divide here in washington you have all that rain that took this out of drought which was drought early in november and now you have a bunch of drought here so that is what's going on there let's go over to Folsom and see what the current lake levels are at lake Folsom. so here we are at Folsom, and you can see that the storage capacity is nine hundred and seventy-seven thousand. 
The elevation is 420.56 feet MSL. Storage as of right now is 532%. The capacity of the lake is 55% and it has come down 5% since back in December. And then their inflows are 2,238. So they're still releasing more than what is coming in. And the current inflows are 2,116. So your outflows are 223. 3.38 your current outflows are 2116 lake oroville's inflows have come up quite a bit the lake is now at 46 percent capacity and now they're releasing 3724 so they really ramped this thing up because it was at 580 the other day so there's that lake shasta's outflows are 2568 they've slowed that way down your inflows are 4253 Lake Trinity, 550 outflows, 736, so it's it's gaining momentum. Let's go to Lake Oroville and see what the water level is currently. Lake Oroville water level is currently 746.18 feet. MSL, Wednesday, February 2nd, 2020, 4 p.m. The level is 153.82 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday, 0 0.05 it's looking more like lake mead instead of lake orville whenever it was increasing rapidly so it, it's done coming up because now they're releasing more more is going out than coming in so let's roll up to lake shasta and see what those water levels currently are lake shasta water level is 934.08 feet msl wednesday february 2nd 2022 at 3 p.m. The level is 132.92 feet below full pool of 1067. Changes since yesterday, 0 0.29 feet. And that is all I have for tonight. Thank you guys for being patient, sticking with me, and I will see you soon. You guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.